Hey guys, what is up? Hopefully you're having a great day. Today we're going to see Andrew Tate makes BBC Rage Quit mid-interview. Okay, uh, so uh, it's a, it's been a lot of time since we've seen Andrew Tate. He's been in prison. He's, I don't know what, I don't know. He was very, very, very big like two months ago. One month ago, two months ago. Yeah, right now I, I don't see a lot of his videos. They, they, they appear to me a lot in my feed i don't know why because i i don't i don't see it i just like okay just, i don't like this dude see he has some good ideas some very very crazy ideas but yeah you can it's, he is crazy at at or like all in all you know let's just see what happens in this interview okay the things i teach men are stoicism discipline self-respect hard work obeying authority listening to your fight coach working hard in school making as much money as possible in your job if you actually watch the things i say if you actually watch my comments about women i've done long podcasts for hours long about females talking about protecting for them providing for them how i believe women should be treated in a relationship i've done all of this but you don't watch any of it and then you come here and ask me to answer questions i've answered at length thousands of times since you came out of custody there seems to have been a lot about your charity work correct on your social media always, i've always done the charity work but now i'm promoting there online. seems to be a real shift yeah i wonder what's behind that well i've always done the charity work i've been doing the charity work for you of course there's something behind that come on he he was in prison so he should do something good so so the people will like him like more he will like him again yeah it's obvious it's marketing yeah i believe that it's my by the way i'm sorry for the echoing it's i don't know he's this this video I don't know what's wrong with their mics. I don't know. It's their a mic room. They don't have mics on them, I think. So it's one mic in the entire room. I really don't know. Legacy to leave a positive influence on the world. And I've been doing charity work for over five years. Post my unfair, unjust incarceration. Post that, I've made it more clear the charity work I'm doing. But this is, again, once again, very interesting. I spend $25 million a year feeding children. Men, male children, and female children. In, in Turkey, in Syria, in Iran, in Iraq. I literally really in turkey and syria i live in syria by the way guys i didn't see anything i don't know if he's doing it in secret i really don't know we cannot judge any person we cannot say that it's not happening we cannot maybe it is happening but i am in syria and i didn't i didn't see andrew tate i think this is when the uh the earthquake happened i think yeah so i don't know I spend 25 million dollars a year feeding children and i'm still the worst man in the world by the way if you if you uh if you gave money to people to help them don't speak about that don't speak about it okay don't speak the number at least don't speak the number okay i'm giving to I, i'm giving it but i don't need to speak the number it was more honorable if said oh, okay i'm giving this dude you're making way out of it oh my god Four years ago, I made a sarcastic comment. Because some people would look at that and say, okay, so before you got money from attracting people to your website by making controversial comments, but that might have got you into trouble. And so now you're looking for a new market. You're looking for a new market of followers who are attracted by a different sort of persona. I've always done the charity work, so that is obviously incorrect. And I have proof that I've always done the charity work, so you're wrong, firstly. I believe that if you have a lot of wealth, you should help people, and I'm helping people. I also think it's very, very interesting that you could not find another celebrity in the uk or anywhere else who's spending 25 million pounds a year feeding children in war torn no 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 man no 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 don't don't say that don't say that this is a big fat, fat l for you uh i i this is not this is okay i'm putting my feelings for him and my point of view of him like out of the window for this video and i'm just telling you my real sincere thought if you are giving don't say it that you are giving and of course don't say the the, the number and of course 100 percent it's obvious don't say that this like in all of this country they don't give this much a year you're gonna be you're gonna look like an ass okay and it's a basic kind of human being thing i really don't know how their mark his marketing team doesn't tell his ideas but i think he was because he's in rage i think he's telling what he's telling i think i don't know Countries. but but if he is really giving okay fair do he is very good for that yeah 
but uh, yeah, that, that 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 doesn't give you a, a whole pass. Okay, well, I I'm giving to the people who need. Well, I, this is giving me a whole pass to say whatever I want. Well, no, no, of course not. I'm doing that. I've been doing that for a long time without even mentioning it. I never even said it. And now that I've said it, people are going to attack me for it and say that it's disingenuous. Just the, the person in Sudan who's eating the meal, do you think they believe it's disingenuous? No, I think they, I think they feel pretty good that Andrew Tate fed them. And to sit here and say that I'm a bad person. Okay, okay. So, okay. This is this will bring us again. Okay. You, you're going to, you're, he's going to talk about me. Okay, you, you should never say it. Okay. Why didn't you say it before? Because it was wrong to say it. Why should why you said it now? You see, this is the same kind of conclusion. Like, okay, why you said it now? Just to prove a point? No, right? Now, because I'm manipulating charity, because I'm using charity, I'm just trying to do good in the world. That's all I've ever been trying to do. Just to put on the record, then, you said that you've invited us into your house. Correct. We're here because you're under house arrest. Correct. If you were free to leave, we would have negotiated a more neutral setting. Don't you think, as the BBC, it would be very interesting to come here and discuss the fact that I was put in a dungeon for 92 days and then locked in house arrest without charge? Don't you think that's a far more interesting conversation than old YouTube snippets? Don't you think that would be interesting? You're here under house arrest because because there's an ongoing investigation into rape and human trafficking allegations against you. Correct. I've been incarcerated without charge. And don't you think... The rape allegation has been dropped. Has been incarcerated for. Correct. So I am, I'm, a, I'm incarcerated without charge, and I think that would be a far more interesting conversation than, I guess, Julian Assange is incarcerated without charge, and nobody's interested in that either. So <laughs> if you actually want to do some genuine journalism and investigation, we could talk about the fact that an innocent man who has yet to be charged with a crime has had his liberty deprived of him. And I think that would be a far more interesting angle than talking about me being the most dangerous man in the world because I own a car. And this question about schools being very worried about your influence. Yeah. Boys in primary school or, you know, boys as young as 11 are quoting you at school, yeah. attacking girls, refusing to respect female teachers. Yeah. Would you like to say anything about that? I'd like to say a lot. First things first, as I've repeatedly said, and, I, and the only reason I keep repeating is to ensure this interview will be edited. I am a positive force for the world and I teach children discipline. I teach the world discipline, male or female of any age and a lot of women listen to me as well 40% of the people who listen to me are actually female secondly I do understand with my massive influence and I am now the one most influential people on the planet that I oh my god this is he's full of it oh my god he's he's uh, I think narcissistic because oh look at me I was a big hit dude come on come on just take the L and have your millions and just live quietly that's it. I do have to be slightly more careful with things I say. I'm not going to disagree with that. The idea that I said something five years ago on a video that got 300 views. So what do you mean, being slightly more careful? I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. Some of the jokes I made four or five years ago on a YouTube channel that got 300 views, I would no longer make Like I, what? Like the OnlyFans joke, the one you mentioned repeatedly. When she said, my man's car is my car. And then she said she did OnlyFans. And I said, what do you saw on OnlyFans? She said, my tits. And I said, well, those are your man's tits. As a joke, ha ha ha, everybody laughed. The fact that I could do that on a podcast five years ago and only got 300 views now i understand i'm the most influential man on the face of the planet i would be oh my god please shut up please shut up please let this man be shut up just is he is so irritating really i am the most influential person on the face of the planet you no know, no you are the most laughing stock on the face of the planet yeah yeah man it's it's gone it's gone more careful with certain things I say. That doesn't mean the things I originally said were genuinely out to harm people. Do you really believe you're the most influential man on the face of the planet? I'm the most Googled person on the planet. Do you believe you're the most influential man on the face of the planet? I'm the most Googled man on the planet. I think when if you are the most okay okay this is like this is when you see there's no logic in in his brain in his little lizard brain uh brain uh if you are googled more than anyone you it doesn't mean that you are the most influential no it means that you are just a trend you did the trend okay you were you were big okay you were big very big at the m one time in your life but right now, you are history. Fast to come, fast to go. That's it. Dude, just take the L. Oh my god, he's full of it. We're done. Yep.
Oh my god, I, I love that she did that. I love that she did that in his own house. And he can't say anything. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. Yeah. So he's like... He's, and uh, yeah, I love it. Thanks, Lucy. It was enjoyable. Nice to meet you. <laughs> no, it was fun. It was good. I enjoyed it. Demic me. I don't want to damage anything. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 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 Okay. The things I teach. So he 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 work a mic. He he wear he wear a mic, but I really don't know why the mics are very 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 bad. So yeah. I enjoyed it. Demic me. I don't want to damage anything. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Of course. The very white staff after you see it. Yeah. She she will not shake your hand. Come on. It's it's a principle. It's a principle, dude. It's a principle. Okay. It is uh I'm just gonna say it right now. He was a big thing in the past, okay? But right now, we don't need him anymore. Uh, he was an example, okay? This man is very, very bad dude. And if he, if the, the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The allegation wasn't uh, enough for him to be arrested and in prison, doesn't mean that he's, what do you call it? Innocent. Yeah. I'm not saying that he's not, but I'm not saying that he is, okay? And if you are the most Googled person in the entire world, it doesn't mean that you are very good. No, I think Billy Delphine, at one point of her life, she was the most Googled person in the entire world. Do you think that she is influential? The most influential girl in the world? No, she just something. You know, I, I, I like she was something. I think if she was a very very big thing, and the like, if she was googled enough, I don't know who's googled enough. Uh, I really don't know that a lot of people. I I I've, I've I forgot I forgot, but there is a lot a lot of like kids right now going on trending. Okay, this is like okay the 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 the, the most I think recent one that I know I I'm, I'm not I'm not following the trend a lot. But this that kid, this um, what is his name? That is he loves Ronaldo. Uh, oh my God, Speed! I Speed! I saw Speed. I think yeah, that's not that his name. He was at some point the most Google. I think yeah, he was the trend at one one point in time. Is he good? Maybe he he's trying to be, but no. I'm not saying that he's bad. Okay, guys, just. I'm just putting an example, okay? He needs a he needs a lot of time to learn stuff, you know. And he did some bad things, made that scheme, you know. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So if you are if you are old enough, if you are mature enough, you know that if you are the most googled person in the entire world, that doesn't mean that you are very very good influential. No. So yeah. And one act of kindness, you cannot speak about it, not like as your marketing should say to you, should say this to you, but as a human being, if I did good, I'm not going to speak about it. I'm not even going to do good in front of people I know. You know what? Because I'm not making it public, making it about me. No. I'm just doing good for the, the people. Okay, that's it. Me, it's not in the pro in the, in the process, you know. So he he says the number. He says the people. He says and he compares himself. Oh my God, this is a big fat L. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, this is my opinion on this uh, matter. Hopefully, you guys, you enjoyed it. Tell me your opinion in the in the comments, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.